Hi all, how are you doing? Hope you're doing great wherever you are in the world. So today what we're going to do is going to look at creating a sub account on Binance. And some of you are thinking, well, I've already got an account. What What's the point in having a sub account? Um, well, basically, there's quite a few reasons why you might have one and pretty decent reasons. And it doesn't cost anything for one thing. Also, it doesn't cost anything to transfer any crypto from one account to another because it's all on Binance. OK, so you're not paying any crypto sort of um, transfer fees or anything like that. So one of the reasons why you might create or several reasons why you might create a sub account on Binance. So I'm just going to discuss this before we sort of have a look at the processes. Um, <clears throat> you could have, say, a family member. So currently in the UK, you can't set up a new Binance account. Okay, so Binance have stopped all that. But what you can still do is create sub accounts. So you could create a sub account for a family member. Um, maybe you could you could also use it as kind of an investment kind of tool where you put some crypto into your son or daughter's uh, account, okay, to keep it separate from your own, okay, to stop you trading your, your son's or daughter's inheritance kind of thing, that kind of thing. So that's one potential thing. Uh, another reason is you may want you might want it for business kind of reasons. So if you're if you've got a business and you're trading, you could have several people underneath you, who, who 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 could have trading accounts. Who could have different kind of trading accounts where they may be using futures or spot trading or bot trading or whatever. Okay, so you could have different accounts, split them up, and sort of see how uh, your trading. Um, is going on one particular account and you can see basically all of, you know, if you put a thousand dollars into trade a uh, sub account a, then you know, if you've made a profit or not. Okay. It's much easier to see when you've got them all separated, separated accounts. Okay. So, uh, so the other thing about a sub account is you can't, um, take out the money as well. So you're not going to lose the money or anything like that. It's up to the person who owns the main account to withdraw any money. Okay. So that can't happen as well. Uh, so if we have a look at the process, you simply just go to this button here and then go to sub accounts. Okay. So I'm just hiding my face over my email address, which is here. Okay. And um, because I'm in the UK, I can't do margin trading, futures, options, and stuff like that. So they're all kind of crossed out. Uh, I've got Google 2FA on. So... What you do, well, I'll show you in a minute. You'd, you'd set up a, an email address. Okay, you'd use an email address, basically, to set up a sub-account. Okay, and again, it doesn't cost any money or anything like that. So if I just cl click this button here, create sub-account. So I've already got one. And all you do is create it with an email. So you'd have to have a separate email account. So that's important because you're going to log into your sub-account with that new email address. Uh, alternative that you can create with a virtual email address um, you will need like an API thing for that. So that's going to be a lot of a lot more faffing around. OK, so if you just got um, an email account, so I'd recommend just, you know, using a Gmail account or something like that, create a new Gmail account maybe for it. And then you'd put in password and all that kind of thing. And when you log in, um, <clears throat> once you create cr created sub account and that's all you need to do, you would then log in with that email address. So it's like logging into a separate email, like a, a separate Binance account then. And then you can put on two-factor authentication and that kind of thing. Okay, and use your email account to authorize the 2FA, that kind of thing. So always have 2FA on, by the way, uh, two-factor authentication. I just use like the Google, um, the Google, what's it called? Authenticator. Okay, so just use the Google Authenticator or something like that or whatever you're used to. And away you go, basically. So um, you can create up to, I think I think it's 20 sub-accounts. Um, and I think the further, the more VIP status you've got, I think you can create up to 100. Although I'm not sure what you'd have 100 for. But again, you know, you could use it to test different uh, trading strategies, okay? And you might want to separate them, okay, for, for that kind of reason. Uh, so that is a possibility. So there you go, Tra uh, creating a sub account on Binance, easy to do, doesn't cost anything and it's quite a useful little feature, I think. Okay, let me know in the comments what you're using, if you want to 
tell me uh, what you're using your sub accounts for. Might give some other people some ideas of why they would want to create a sub account.